Hello and good morning everyone. Hope you're all doing very well today. Today is going awesome. You know, I could give you the weather update. Sunny and probably 60 today, maybe a little colder. It's the weather update for today. We still have the flag up. We need to take that down today. It is not a one person job because last time I folded it, I spread it across all these couches and I accidentally tipped over Hazy's little rubber bands when I did it. We're talking thousands of rubber bands. I felt so guilty. So I sat for hours and organized little teeny tiny rubber bands for her rainbow loom. Definitely gonna ask for some help on doing that this time. I wish we could leave the flag up all year round. I mean, we could, but it is big out there. We make sure we follow all of the flag rules because you've got to have it lit at night. We love it. We take such good care of it. It's like one of our favorite things. So that has to come down today. I'm still mid process in deciding on these. Still not sure. I was going to go back today and buy them, but I feel like I just need one more minute. I can talk myself into both. So I'm like, oh shoot. Part of me has thought about doubling them up and doing both, but that just makes it twice as expensive. And I don't want to spend that much money because I'm pretty sure the kids want Christmas this year. Okay. So lots going on. I'm about to head to the kids school where we have some fundraising meetings to do and I decided to take the little protein bites I made in yesterday's video. I'm taking those to all of my friends. First, I'm gonna stop and grab a soda because that time, soda or water. Either way, today is shaping up to be a beautiful day. Tuesdays are a little bit stacked because the boys have piano and basketball and it just feels like we have a lot going on. There's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on with merch, deciding on the next merch that's going to be coming soon and ordering it, doing all of that. Also meeting with some landscapers today. Our yard is massive and there's a lot that needs to be taken care of. We've never Never hired anyone to take care of any of the weeding or trimming or pruning or any of that. We've done it all ourselves, but we are seeing that winterizing and getting it ready for winter is a bigger job because bushes need to be cut back. They came today and I told them how I almost cut down all of my hydrangeas and they told me that is a big no-no. It will kill them. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I'm like almost I'm ruining our entire landscaping because I didn't know what to do. We also have to blow out our sprinkling system. We've never done that before. There's a lot that needs to happen. We also really need to get outside and put all of the pool chairs away and winterize the backyard. Brandon has been feeling under the weather last night and this morning though. So that's definitely not happening today. Hoping that he's able to rest up, take care of himself and feel better today or this evening. You know, he has not been feeling great. So we're going to nurse him back to health, take care of him. He doesn't have a little man cold or anything like that, but he actually thinks he might be dying. So we're going to take care of him, get him healthy real fast. Kids are so much like me. It's not even funny. Brexton and Hazy are both home from school and they are both in pajamas. That is usually my go-to. That is usually what I do the second I walk in the house. Jeans I'm wearing today, they're very comfortable. I don't change out of these ones. They're so comfy. Brexton just finished up reading. He did so awesome. Hazy is upstairs reading. She's doing awesome. I'm about to go pick up the boys from basketball though. Since Brandon is not feeling well, he's still banished to the basement. No one will go down there. He is resting in Maddie's room, which we've done that before. Like if he's sick, he'll sleep down there because I don't want to be sick. We can't have both of us sick. Then I'll go into Maddie's room clean the sheets, clean the whole room. Sorry, Maddie. It's nice that we have one extra bedroom that's on a different floor that we can put people if they're sick. I have like the smallest window of time. Whenever the kids come home from school, I can do a couple of things before basketball practice ends. So I'm going to go up, change the laundry and then head off to go get the boys. Got dinner started. I decided to do a crock pot meal tonight. We're doing pizza pasta. Just a meal that I bought in a bag and I'm throwing it in there because it just makes for a super easy night. Put it over pasta. Give me great. Trying to get on top of things. You guys saw I was making an online food order. Tomorrow I have to donate some butter to the school. I usually send out like a sign up genius like, hey, do doing a staff treat day. So here's things you can donate if you'd like. So I'm donating butter. We're having a very fancy dinner at our house tomorrow night here for 10 girls that live in the neighborhood. Teenage girls are doing what's called an etiquette dinner. I'll share that with you tomorrow. I have to make a couple of things for that. And then the next day I got invited to a Thanksgiving dinner. Friendsgiving, if you will. So I have to order some of those things. And sometimes I go to the grocery store. Sometimes I order. I usually end up buying more if I actually go there. So just going to do a delivery. Trying to get all of those things knocked off the calendar today and get things done. It's helping out. Dry guy, how was practice? Great, but tired. Kirby, do you, oh, whoa, two gun shows here, huh? I, have, I lost my shirt. They actually did lose their <gasps> shirt. Practice was great. I'm gonna work on something. Oh, okay. Wow, just, yep, I heard, yep, wow. Oh. <laughs> hooks in there. Those are actually like super useful. Okay, there we go. That Got it closed, good job. Love you. Bye. Bye. 
while crew is in there, Brexton just walked in. Their lessons are only 30 minutes apart. You guys, you can tell how much the sun has set in the small time in 30 minutes since I dropped off crew. To when I'm bringing Brexton has literally been 30 minutes exactly. It is so wild how the sun is just setting so early. It's 5.30 right now. It's already getting dark. Really getting dark out there. Brandon, however, just texts me. He's literally been asleep most of the afternoon saying that his stomach is still just turning. He's got a little bit of a stomach bug. He really wanted some toast. He goes, I was so afraid to ask. I was like, oh my goodness. I says, how come you were afraid to ask me? He goes, because you already are doing so much and have to be in 10 places at the same time. You know what? Today is like a little bit of a busier day. Thought Brandon would be feeling better by now. He's not. When you have a million places that you need to be and you have different things for every kid, it is a lot. Thankfully, I did a crock pot dinner. I've been working on laundry in between going home every time, trying to get it all done. I think I'm doing it. It's a lot of work. Phil, for all of you, I don't think I could do this alone. Plus, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, Christmas songs. Is that what we're doing? I'm flying Frosty the Snowman. Okay. And I'm doing a duet for We Wish You a Merry Christmas. With her? Yeah. That'll be fun. What's fun is we sat down and there was this book that I like used to struggle with and sat down. I sight read the whole entire thing as she played the duet perfectly. First wow. try. Good job. So we're going to do a little bit harder one because it's more fun to learn a song than to just know it. To be challenged? Yes. There you go, little munchkin. Right, that is the telltale sign of a sickness. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling, Brandon? Uh, I don't know. Can't decide if I feel better and hungry or if this is gonna be coming right back out in a minute. So oh my good. gosh, TMI, TMI, Sorry. tell more information. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, guys, Brandon has been <gasps> hugging the, what's it called? Porcelain? Porcelain. Toilet? Yeah, what's it called? There's a phrase. I don't know how do I look, by the way, because I am not. You look amazing. Let's do this real quick. Yeah, well, don't you worry, I've got everything taken care of. Slightly stressful. This is more than a one person job. You just rest up. Wait, so are you all? Also handling vlogs. Oh shoot, I cannot fun. forget to pick up Brexton. She kids at piano. I did not want you to bring me anything because you have so many. I'm such a nerd, you've probably been hungry the whole day and I haven't allowed you out of well, this room. I've been hungry, but I've been afraid to eat anyway. But yeah. Also not allowed me out of this room and Hazy came to say hi to me, but she <gasps> risk that she'd get in trouble for it. I know, I did tell the kids you're not allowed to go downstairs. <laughs> we do no, not want this going around. Honestly, I'm hoping it's a 24 hour thing. As soon as I can eat something, I don't think my stomach will hurt so bad. My gosh, I'm so sorry. But on the plus side, I do have Oh my gosh, you are VR such headset to keep a nerd. Company. And the more comfortable strap that I can wear laying down so I can just like watch a movie or something. That is the ultimate form of laziness right there. But you know the what? This is the one day recovery. you can get away with it. <laughs> I'm taking full advantage. All right, well, we're going to have a delicious pizza pasta. <laughs> oh, you are? I don't have a Randy bell, by the way, because I, mm. I notify yep, you sorry. when I okay, need all right. something else. Well, so see you later. Feel better. Kids are all home from piano and all the things. We're having dinner. You guys, we have made a delicious pizza pasta. It looks really good. It's got pepperoni, it's got sausage. I don't know if it's sausage or beef, but it's in there. It's yummy. Over pasta. Apparently, kids are looking at Christmas list stuff. Yep. They've got all the things out, we're all the magazines happy. that come in the mail, and they are, I guess, looking at Christmas stuff, huh? We're not I'm making lists yet. I'm making a list that I might use, but I'm making a list just in case. Okay, good idea, good idea. I also made these delicious red lobster biscuits. These are like some of our favorites. And after I finish dinner, I'm gonna make these yummy cookies down here. Got this kit from Costco. I made the bread last week. This week, I'm going to make the cookies. Night has gone on. We watched a Santa Claus movie. We had a bunch of fun. The kids are in bed. Actually, I already put Hazel to bed. But you guys, I don't know if you recall, we talked about this a couple of days ago. We have this balloon that my cute nephew let go from clear down there. I think it's actually 21 feet from there to there. Might oh, it's be more. more. We should actually measure that one day. Yeah. How do we do that? That's Anyways, funny. we're trying to get this out. And it went from under here to somehow it came down and then went up. Been trying to figure out a way to get this down. And I had a genius idea. The lake floor. <laughs> So right guy, here's my plan. Corner. Go to that corner. Hopefully the air will come around and it will come to us. Ready? Yes. Is it gonna work? Let's see. Oh my god, it's working. It's working! Oh dang. Okay. Oh wait, wait, no, that's not in the plan. Go down and get it, crew. Go get it. Go get it. I got right it. Here. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, okay, so Lana Jo actually bought Brexen that one, and I was thinking if it gets cut somehow or let go, if it goes up there, we're gonna have another situation. All right, guys, now that it's past bedtime oh, and I already funny. put you to bed, let's actually go to bed. Brexie, are you in charge of putting that away? Yes. Okay, Reg, I feel like that was not a smart move. Don't you dare. Did you feel the wind? Yeah, I felt it. Bedtime round two? Yeah. Okay. Love you. I don't get scared. That's why I do the scare project. So this is being <laughs> sick. No, actually, it's not as enjoyable when you don't feel good, but it gives me something to do. Did you hear all the ruckus upstairs? Yeah, I was just about to text you. It's been clearly determined that you are the fun one. Uh, yeah. Do you know what we did? No, what? Got the balloon down. <gasps> How? With I the leaf blower. Oh my gosh. Are you going to come out of that? Because people here just see you with a headset oh, on. I know you can see me. <laughs> I can see. It's so cool. I can see perfectly. But, uh, it's down. Do you want to know what we used? There, so that's usually the more responsible parent, but did you happen um, to blow the chandelier loose? or? Well, actually, I didn't even know if it was moving. Maybe we should rewatch that. <laughs> that leaf blower got it out real good. That's awesome. Yep, anyways, okay, we need to sign off for today. Oh, okay, here. No, no, you stay there. Don't get any closer to me than you have to. Brandon, I think he's feeling a lot better. Yeah, oh, you definitely. You seem definitely. like you're gonna be fine tomorrow. So I think tomorrow better I'm be gonna 100%. take the day off, massage, shopping, nap, the whole bit, right? Yeah, I We're think gonna. More than earned it. Yeah, this was nice to get kind of feel what it's like to be you every day. It was kind of nice. <laughs> Gosh, I'm gonna fake sick tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, are you really sick or were you faking sick? Uh, I wish I was faking. Maybe I'm like prolonging, you know, or like That's milking. That's called milking it? Yeah, yeah, but Wait, uh, really? No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, alive and well, feeling much better. Yeah, honestly, mom's just keeping me away so that I don't get anybody else sick because we have like multiple things. Yeah, that yeah, coming yeah. Up. It's just because like, we don't want anyone else sick. <laughs> you guys are watching my favorite shows, having a ton of fun, laughing without me. You know, I'm down here living in a virtual world. By the way, my kids are really nice. My wife loves me in this world. All right, you guys, we love you so much. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna just keep this one down here. Good we love you guys. Everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, just think I can just send you like little messages, little mementos. Little love mementos while I'm doing this. Sure dodged a bullet yesterday. And I didn't hug you. Just think, I could be sick right now. If I would have hugged you. I'm sure that I didn't do that. Oi. But instead now today, I get to bring you toast. There you go, little munchkin. <laughs>